displayed our personas there nightly. It was a shabby street corner tavern on a dicey stretch of North Avenue, a block after Chicago's Old Town stopped being a tourist haven. When a rumor who lived upstairs died, his body was discovered when maggots started to drop through the ceiling. For many years, I drank there more or less every night when I was in town. So did a lot of people. We all sat in the same place. The newspaper guys here, the druggies in the middle, the sorority staff at the very end of the bar. Roger has always been attracted to weird types. I mean, you should see some of the women that he's hauled into O'Rourke's over the years. You know. Back in the old days, Roger had probably the worst taste in women of any man I've ever known. They were either gold diggers, opportunists, or psychos. Yeah, I met Roger one time with a woman that looked like a young Linda Ronstadt. And when she was gone from the table briefly, I said, who is that? And he said, uh, she's a hired lady. And I said, a hooker? <laughs> and he said, now you take care of her when I leave. <laughs> and he left town and, uh, and anyway. Roger, he used to hang from the lamp post at the end of the bar. When he got going, Roger was one of the finest storytellers that I have ever come across. He would hold court, and it's not like everyone was invited to join in and have a colloquy with him. Since he bought drinks for everybody when he had the money, who's not to listen? <laughs>